everyone, my name is Chantelle and welcome to another video. Today is another Smart Art Box day, but this is the April Smart Art Box. It arrived in the same month as my June Smart Art Box, and May and July are still traveling. I want to thank Smart Art for sending me this box and supporting my channel, but without further ado, let's have a look what's inside. We have the Smart Art brochure. And this month, it actually looks like there is some calligraphy stuff. So there's some project pointers, the prompts. I thought the prompts were normally at the back, but there's not this time. There is some um, practice space for lettering. This is really cool that they've included this. Ooh, what's this? There is three abstract acrylic inks by Sennelier. This is titanium white, azure blue, and phthalo green. Three gold teclon royal langnickel brushes for watercolor, acrylic, and tempera. There is a smart art sticker and a sour punch candy spectra noir metallic twin tip metallic markers. These are the colors. There is a Sketchbook by Fabriano, 85 grams paper, 90 pages, in A5 format. And it is dotted so you can practice your calligraphy. And this is some Stonehenge Aqua Cold Press in black. And there's three pages. I have a pretty good idea what I want to do with all these supplies. So let's get going. Of course, the first thing we have to do is swatch all these supplies. So I took a page out of the book and I cut the black paper into a smaller piece just to swatch on. I have never used acrylic ink before and especially not Sennelier products. But this ink, acrylic ink, is really, really nice. And then we have the metallic markers by Spectra Noir. And especially on the black paper, they work absolutely beautiful. They are perfect for lettering, which is what this box was all about. And also on the back of the paper, they don't show through that paper. So this paper is really, really nice. The black paper, if you go over it too many times, it peels up a little bit, but it is really nice to use for calligraphy. Then onto the project. I decided to make books. Make a book out of a book. Last month it was make a box out of a box. But yes, there we go. This is where I make the signatures of the books, which is basically a set of papers that is bound into the book. And I make seven for each book. So I make two books in this video. How many times have I said book now? Book, book, book. And then I'll move on to punching the holes into the signatures just to make the stitching a little bit easier. And this is what the seven signatures look like so far. Then we need a spine to stitch these signatures into. This is a way of binding where you don't see the actual binding because you glue that whole pack with the signatures and the spine into the actual book. Then onto that spine that I've just cut out of the back of the paper pack is deciding where I'm gonna punch the holes for the seven signatures. So I'm basically trying to find the middle and then measure out seven lines where I can punch the holes into. Then of course for the binding we need some twine or ribbon or in this case embroidery thread. So I decided for this first one to go with some teal colored embroidery thread and I'm punching it through the middle hole through the spine then onto the top hole going back into the in the book and then down to the bottom one and then back through the middle one but coming out through the top and then you can tie those two together over that middle strand 
which will secure it all into place and then cut off the excess and there you have it there's your first signature and this is what it looks like all seven of them bound together into the spine then it's time to create the cover of the book and the spine where the actual signatures are glued into so from the box i am creating two covers and the spine that is going to be the outside of the book Once that's all cut, I'm going to glue all these pieces onto a piece of the white paper that came in the book, leaving just a little gap in between the spine and the covers of the book so that we can open and close the book. The piece at the top and the bottom that are overlapping, I'm just gonna glue them down just to give the book a little bit extra strength. If you want, at this point, you can round the corners. What I'm going to do next is use a mixture of a glue, PVA glue and water. And I'm going to glue the tissue paper onto the outside of the book and also a little bit on the inside, but we'll get there. This is to give the book strength and give it texture. You will see in just a moment what I'm going to do with the cover of the book. This is the inside of the book, covering also the spine, just to strengthen it just a little bit more. And this is what the book looks like when it's completely dry. You can see all the texture which is going to show up in the final product. And now on to using the art supplies that came in the box. I really like the opacity of these inks, acrylic inks, acrylic paint, acrylic ink. And for the white I used two layers, and I think I did that for the blue and the green as well. It flows really well, it works up really nicely. I really like the droppers that came with the bottle and I would definitely, definitely use these products again. Then onto the inside of the book, I covered the inside covers with the black paper that came in the box. And then I'm gluing in the spine. The glue I'm using mainly for these projects is PVA glue with water and the clear glue is Fabri-Tec glue. I will leave links for these products in the description box below so you can check them out for yourself. For the cover of this book, I'm using some of the torn black paper and then with the inks, I write the word mermaid because this cover reminded me of mermaids. I was going to post this video in the month of July when I had Harry Potter month on my channel, but I ran out of time, so I'm posting it now, and I suppose every day can be a little bit magical. Then with one of the metallic markers, the green one, I am just putting on some little dots. Before I put on this white ink, I put on the blue ink, but that didn't really show up. So then I went over with the white. On the inside of the book, I am doing some metallic leaves with the metallic markers. And this is what the first book looks like with the signatures and the leaves on the inside. Now on to the next one. As you can see, I tea dyed the pages that came in the box in that little book. I bound it the same way, but this book is gonna be a little bit more chunky because of the paper. When you dye paper, it becomes very crispy. I really like how it makes the pages look aged. I put the outside of the book together the same as the first one. Then on the inside, I put a sheet of this white paper and then the rest of the book I cover with this white paper as well. I trim off some of the excess of the flaps that are sticking out on the side just to get rid of some of the bulk and then glue them down on the inside. Covering the spine of the book with some of the black paper. And also the covers are gonna be black paper. Then the inside of the book, I'm gonna use the cover of the Fabriano paper that came in the box, which is the purple paper. And then I'm gonna create pockets that are gonna go on the inside of the book in the black paper. Like 
like I said before, this project was going to go up on Harry Potter month on my channel. So here is a little funky potions book. For decorating this book, I used only the metallic markers that came in the box because I used the acrylic paints on the first one predominantly. So I just wanted to switch it up a little bit. And these markers look absolutely amazing on this black paper or in, on black paper in general. And um, I think this looks rather fun. I'm continuing some of these doodles on the inside of the book as well, just on the black paper. And as you can see, you can actually use these pockets to put some stuff in. Then, of course, we cannot forget to glue the signatures into the spine of the book. And this is the finished potions book. That's it for this June Smart Art Box and I hope you enjoyed watching me create these books and hopefully you can follow along and make your own. Don't forget you can get 10% off your first Smart Art Box with the link in the description box. I will also leave links for the individual products down below so you can check them out. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. Make sure to check out my socials and consider supporting me on Patreon. And if you're new here, welcome! Please don't forget you can click the subscribe button to become part of the Raven family. Thanks so much for watching, stay safe and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!